Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Today we're starting on part three of this who knows how many parts fence slide build. What we're going to be doing today, I, uh, or what we're going to be doing today is the drawer, uh, starting on it. Uh, I finished up the sort of the right side support box. Uh, that just needed a little bit of sanding. It's kind of uninteresting, didn't film it. Um, what we're going to be doing is using some, uh, these guys, they're four feet wide and uh, three quarter inch square by a one sixteenth thick um, aluminum tubes. And we're going to be using these as cross members to support the uh, platform. Uh, and got down here some dowels that just happen to fit fairly snugly inside of these guys. Because remember I told you at the beginning of this, I don't have a welder don't know how to weld and I wanted you guys to be able to do the same sort of thing if uh, you were so inclined at home uh, just as easily and just as cheaply. So um, what the wooden dowels will serve to do is add a little bit of extra structural rigidity, not much, obviously it's just a wooden dowel, but um, I'm going to be laying the, the plywood, obviously the plywood, the plywood shelf on top, plywood drawer bottom essentially on top of this cross member and then the sides will come along this way here and then I'm going to be screwing with a lag screw into the wood core. The plywood will hold this in place um, and that, that should keep it all nice and tidy like that. So uh, go ahead and get started on go ahead and get started on the drawer itself. Um, not quite sure exactly how it's all going to come together. I kind of have the uh, bits for the side first that I think I'm going to cut out. That'll give me my material for the width um, that we need to make this. I can go over to the half inch ply that we got, four by eight sheet of half inch ply, cut that to size with the skill saw, sand it down to exact. Uh, and then just found out this morning, I also have to go back to Home Depot today to pick up another turnbuckle. The, one of the 150 pound turnbuckles I had when I was tightening it in place, only just with my hands, I wasn't using tools or anything, uh, strip screw bolt. So I gotta go grab another one of those. Hopefully it was just faulty. The other three, nothing like that has happened. So um, go ahead and get that Home Depot trip done. And then I'll be back here with you guys uh, to start working on the, uh, the drawer itself. All right, guys, welcome to my cutting station. Um, I have a garage and a townhouse, so no real yard to do this in, so I've just kind of clamped a bunch of stuff to this piece of concrete. Uh, sorry, I got some sawdust in my nose. Uh, we're going to be cutting this final piece, uh, which will be the side of the drawer, um, one of the two sides of the drawers, the drawer that will come in and out. I'm just going to trim off about, uh, well, maybe maybe a quarter inch, maybe a little bit less um, from the end here. It's gonna be a little bit shorter than the side boxes that contain it, uh, just to allow for a rubber stop so it doesn't bang into the back of the cab. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut, get the next one cut, and uh, join you when, uh, when I'm done cutting these back in the bed. I've got these stacks here of uh, square towels as shims. It just so happens that three of them happen to stack to the exact height that I want the bottom of the shelf to be of this drawer. So I've been using them as a jig to uh, mock up this thing on. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in place and I'll be back here in about 30 seconds with you guys. Uh, show you what it's going to kind of look like in here. Okay, I'm up here in the bed now. I've got it uh, lined up flush here. There's the uh, something about a two inch gap. The gap is such that it will slide out and clear the uh, rise, the angled rise in the tailgate. Uh, but I've got it set up here so that uh, once the drawer is fully closed here, the uh, See, this piece is four millimeters shorter than this box length. And that will allow this to fully close without actually hitting the back of this. Now what I plan on doing is, it's not actually gonna be, this won't actually be this close. There's gonna be a, uh, 
aluminum rail running down the other side of this resting in between some bearings um, and at the end here with the aluminum rail I'm going to uh, screw in like a chunk of probably white pencil eraser to act as a stop on that rail and uh, that'll sort of be a garaged version of a soft closed drawer so to speak um, and that way it won't go slamming hard into the tailgate there or into the tailgate it won't go slamming hard into the back of the bed up near the cab I won't hear it um, smack in there so I gotta get another piece cut just like this the idea is that these two pieces here and here these two are perfectly flush for uh, height wise. Um, I want to make sure that, well, I, I want to make sure, I probably once I get this fully installed and the drawers in place, I'll probably come in and sand it to make sure it's perfectly flush because what I want to do is put a cap along the top of the wheel well there and then over here and on the far corner there and same on this side uh, to cover this up it'll act as it'll be a hinged sort of I'm not sure if I'm gonna open it this way sorry for the noise I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the um, the cover open this way or this way I think just because of the way this is shaped up here it'll make more sense to open this way if I open it this way I'm gonna have stuff, I think, interfering with this this bed rail up here. I'm not positive, I have to check on that. But I'm gonna have a hinge door here, one at that end, and this will be here. It's all gonna rest on top of this piece. And same on this side, and then in the middle, what the plan is long-term will be on top of the drawer, I would be able to run over from this side all the way over another piece of plywood if I wanted to create sort of like a level platform all the way across. Uh, the idea being I could end up camping in here if I wanted to with the uh, shell that's going to be on here in about three weeks, three, four weeks. So um, what I'm going to do is cut another one of these guys and uh, get this all lined up here. Um, stay. Get this lined up. I'll put in another one over there and kind of mock it up in the bed and measure out exactly how wide my shelf will be. And then I uh, go over to my chop saw, swap out my aluminum cutting blade, which is the big red thing hanging up there next to the pipe wrench. Just below it, I guess. It's a Diablo, I don't know, Home Depot special. Cuts through aluminum like butter, so I'll swap that into the chop saw. And uh, get to work on the guys. On these guys down here, cutting them to, to width, I guess. And uh, moving forward with the bed, con the drawer construction itself. So, again, the uh, way this drawer is going to come together, I'll use this shorter piece here. This will kind of, uh, let's see if it'll rest here without tipping. Oh, that is precarious. So, this aluminum cross member will come into this side piece for this drawer. Remember this piece of aluminum is going to have a wooden dowel shoved in there. The plywood coming in on top of the aluminum, resting on top of the aluminum, will be screwed into the uh, aluminum into the wooden dowel. And I'm going to have lag screws coming in into the, uh, in, have lag screws coming through the side into the uh, aluminum to hold it in place. Never done this before. I hope it will work. Um, so you'll see me succeed or fail either way. Um, Anyway, I'm going to go and get started cutting the other piece. Got to rip that down and then uh, put it up here in the bed and start measuring for width. Uh, got a tape measure coming over here now. I've gotten both the, this one on the right is sort of mocked up. I have both this drawer sides essentially cut, sanded, mirror each other in height exactly. Uh, what I wanted to do now kind of catch you up to what I've mocked up. This is the rail, essentially, the aluminum rail that the drawer itself will be 
sliding on. Um, the rail will be bolted to the drawer side, the side of the drawer. Um, and on these box supports, I'll call them, I'm gonna have uh, bearings, they're 930 seconds wide, uh, attached here. So I need to basically account for the bolt head, the bearing, and then maybe two spacer washers to get them onto the rail. Now why two spacer washers? I'm going to be offsetting the uh, drawer, basically three, get in here, three washers uh, wide from the this uh, this piece here. The reason being is this box piece it uh, sticks out in the middle where the uh, uh, the uh, wheel well is, and it gets pulled in here and towards the cabin. The reason being is that wood is flexible and the uh, well the wheel well is pushing it out a little bit. So um, just as a margin of error, given that I'm working with wood instead of metal. I've uh, allowed for three washers. Essentially, it would amount to about an eighth of an inch of clearance between the aluminum and the uh, box on the side here. So what I'm going to do is um, set this up like I've got it here, but on this side, and then measure essentially how wide I have on the interior of the drawer, uh, and that'll factor into how wide I cut these guys and I'm going to be measuring this like 10 times because I can't screw up the uh, aluminum I can't you know make it longer I suppose I could screw it up I just have to go buy more of it I don't want to do that um, so uh, I'll go ahead and mock this uh, this piece up this has quite a bow in it I might flip it over um, I think I will do that I'll flip it over uh, and then come back with you with the measuring tape and show you what it looks like. All right, so I've gotten uh, what I did to the right, uh, right side of the truck mocked up now on the left side as well. So I've got oh three washers of clearance there, three washers again of clearance there. Sorry, I've got sawdust in my nose and sawing and sanding all day. So. Uh, pardon the allergies. Anyway, I've got three washers in between this aluminum rod and, and this box. Three washers again between this aluminum rod and uh, this box there. So what we're going to do now is measure the distance between the inside distance between this guy and this guy. And I think once I get that distance, I will wrap up for the day. It's five o'clock. I've been going since eight this morning, eight thirty somewhere in there. Um, and I'll come back tomorrow to kind of start working on chopping the aluminum and uh, getting the sort of the drawer itself built up. Anyway, I'll go ahead and take this measurement and let you know, and then I'll see you tomorrow, which for you will be right away, but uh, for me, it's tomorrow. Okay, got it measured. It's about 45 and 12 sixteenths, 45 and 13 sixteenths, so a little over uh, 45 and 3 quarter inches is what the internal width of the bed slide will be. I'm gonna go ahead and off camera here, just do a whole bunch more measuring up and down, make sure we're square, uh, make sure it's perfectly square, so to speak. And uh, I'll be here back tomorrow morning with you guys. All right, guys, it is the next morning and, well, afternoon. I went on a bike ride this morning, couldn't help it. It's too, it was just too nice. Um, it's the next afternoon, about 1 o'clock, and I've got this mocked up. I spent some time off camera sanding down those two front cross pieces uh, just to get this more uniform. So we've got, uh, excuse me, a consistent measure now, and it's 45 and 3 quarters all the way down. Uh, that's what the width of the bed drawer will be. That's what the width of the bed drawer will be. That's what we're going to make it. Uh, so first, uh, what we got to do is drill out some the wooden sort of cross braces. Then we're going to cut the uh, drawer itself to size and then uh, start screwing it all together. So I'm going to go ahead and flip you guys around, uh, get you focused on the. Uh, I'll go ahead and do it. Get you focused on the vice and uh, speed things up for you. All right, 
Okay, so we've gotten uh, four of the eight pieces of wood here pre-drilled. I'll see if this is showing up for you guys. Um, see, where's the camera? There we go. So uh, it's pre-drilled for the lag screws. Um, pre-drilled for the lag screws that are going to go into here because they're 3 8 inch and this is only or 3 16 and this is only 5 eighths. Uh, so it's a pretty big screw going into this so I had to pre-drill it. Uh, unfortunately I don't have a drill press so ended up ruining four of the eight of these so I have to pick up another four um, as the drill came out the bottom. So I'll go ahead and do that later off camera get those done. Um, but right now we're going to go ahead and size and then cut the uh, shelf itself which will be kind of exciting. So I'll go ahead and get that done. Uh, cut the shelf probably first because I have the aluminum cutting blade up here. Cut the uh, aluminum thing second once we've got the wood uh, shelf kind of sized correctly. So I'll go ahead and do that and uh, you guys can follow along with the uh, hyperlapse. <laughs> So we've gotten the uh, shelf base cut to size. I'm going to go ahead and move my truck back into the garage. Sorry, I'm sure that messed up the focus there. Move my truck back into the garage and uh, we'll get it all mocked up and see how it kind of fits. All right, guys, we are back in the garage and it looks pretty good so far. Um, just as a reminder, I am going to be spraying all the plywood surfaces with Raptor liner when I get this kind of built up and take it all out, take the parts off, spray it down so it will blend in hopefully seamlessly with the spray in Linex that I've already got in here. Um, just see if this gets rid of the glare. Uh, that's better, I think. So uh, let me back up a little bit. The plywood laid down in the bed, that's the drawer. The two pieces on the side, those are the shell, the sides of the drawer, and I'll come in here and walk you through the assembly, which will be part four next week. So, the uh, this rail here, that will be the rail that uh, the drawer slides on. There's going to be 40 bearings on this guy, uh, 20 top and then 20 bottom, or I guess, you know, the, the rail is not going to be here, it's going to be sort of mounted up here as will the drawer. The drawer, the top of this this guy will be flush with this guy. Uh, the railing will be up higher. The bearings will be top and bottom of the railing. Bearing here, bearing here, and the rail is going to slide in between it. I've got a uh, three washer gap here just uh, for play um, in this, this length here. Just uh, assuming that it bows out over the wheel well a little bit there. And, um, on this side as well, you can kind of see the bow. Um, I, I'm assuming that the uh, the drawer will be closer to the the side box here on the left, um, in the near the wheel well. So that gap from of uh, three washers will probably drop down to maybe one washer. But it should be sufficient. If not, I might have some more sanding in my future. Hopefully not. Hopefully this will all slide in and out pretty seamlessly once I get the bearings in there. Uh, being shipped right now, the bearings are so. Hopefully, um, next week, I, I plan on getting, for part, for part four, getting the drawer built up. And then part five should be bearings, uh, which will be tedious because i got to find a way to drill them perfectly, um, you know, in, in a line without having any issues in terms of the drill walking away from me. So that's, that's going to sit, take a sit down and a think. Now, what is the aluminum piece uh, here? So... This is just a three foot aluminum piece that I slid in here for illustration purposes. Um, I'm going to be next week cutting a four foot piece to size. Again, this piece of plywood is 45 and uh, almost three quarters is 45 and I think 12, uh, sorry, not 12, um, 10 sixteenths. So five eighths, 45 and five eighths wide. 
Um, so I, I can't put my four foot ones in here now. But this one is gonna go all the way from uh, down here to here. And it will be a um, sort of a supporting cross member. There's gonna be a total of four. Uh, one at the front here, one at the back, and then two evenly spaced in between. So between the cross members of aluminum, the uh, half inch thick ply, I think this should be pretty stable, especially after I, uh, stable and sturdy, especially after I spray it with Raptor liner. Um, again, the reason that uh, this drawer side is gonna be flush with this top, and the reason why I had to make this so high is that uh, this uh, tailgate does come up at an angle here. This tailgate comes up at an angle. Um, so in order for the bottom uh, support member to clear that, I have to literally be up, I think, about two inches uh, here. It's a two inch rise over the run of the tailgate uh, before this comes out. I know I could put a spacer in. I, I could put extend these cables out and to lower this tailgate. Um, I just didn't want to mess with potentially, you know, smacking the bumper or uh, removing this easy lower, uh, DZ easy lower shock. If you want to see that, I have a video um, installing this guy, but uh, I didn't want this to stop working. So um, it is actually a lot more convenient than I ever thought it would be. So anyway, back to the bed slide here. Um, yeah, in order, in order to keep the drawer from hitting the tailgate, in order to keep the easy lower shock working, um, I got to have it two inches up. Yeah, I'm going to lose two inches, but I'm going to, in my perspective, I'm going to be getting the cap on here. I'm going to gain, you know, all that space up ahead, up vertically there. Um, the other plus with keeping this piece flush with this guy is that uh, I can then put in a vertical support here if I wanted, run another piece across the top, and then have a platform to sleep on if I ever go camping, which uh, I, th I think I'm going to try and get the misses into one of these days here. So that will uh, wrap up part uh, three of this build, and I'll be back next weekend with part four.